Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're doing tea and pajamas in the kitchen because I don't have the energy to set up in the living room. We're sticking with the theme of summer and winter. We're doing Hubert's Hughes Pink Dragon Tropical Assam Tea from Tea Punk Teas. This one says, this one says Hobby Quest Small Batch Hand Blended Tea Punk Teas. Okay. We at Tea Punk Teas are proud to have collaborated with the delightful and highly entertaining sentient beings at Hobby Quest Games to bring you this exquisite tea. Ingredients. Assam TGFOP. I have no idea what that means. Hibiscus and dragon fruit essence. And again, they are at www.tpunkteas.com and they are located in Grand Prix, Texas. You can find them on Instagram, if I recall, at tpunkteas, and also on Facebook. And this is the color. I am not sure what it, what the Assam TGFOP is. If you're a tea aficionado, like Matter Hatter Tea Reviews, or one of the, one of the other ones, that may or may not stop by and visit my channel and check us out in our about here. Let me know what that means. I have no idea. It's nice and fruity and tropical, of course, because you've got the hibiscus and the dragon fruit. Tastes like dragon fruit. Yes, you can definitely taste dragon fruit. Because of the Assam tea, it has more of a golden orange color and not so much like a red zinger tea from Celestial Seasonings where they have hibiscus and it's in your face bright red hibiscus. This is more subdued. It's very nice, very smooth, very tropical. Like I said that already. I said that already. Again, like I said, don't mind me. I'm just I'm having brain fog this week. Had to walk to and from the bus stop yesterday, and it was cold. Yes, I, I'm kind of cra crazy, I guess. I called out on a day where it was 29 degrees because I didn't want to walk to the bus stop or walk from the bus stop. And then yesterday, I went and went anyway when it was colder because it was a holiday and the buses were running, so therefore I couldn't think of a logical excuse in my mind why I didn't go to work. So I went to work on a colder day than the day I called out from. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I make no sense. But anyway. So yes, the cold weather and I just, I thought, think, I thought, I think, but I thunk. <laughs> uh, I was over all my colds and stuff, but I don't know. I'm stuffy again. I'm achy again. I don't know. I know the uh, weather did say that cold-related arthritis is uh, worse this time of year because of the cold. So that's not helping. So my immune system is down because my arthritis is acting up. So that's probably what's causing my issues and why I'm probably catching another cold. But I'm just guessing. Oh, yes. As per the description on the previous video I just uploaded, which was a week late, um, plans have changed back to where they were when I recorded the video. Yes, I am going to lunch with my sister tomorrow for my birthday. So that's why I'm doing the tea in pajamas today. Had she decided the weather was too nasty to go out for lunch, I was going to do this tomorrow and just, I guess, I don't know, be lazy today. <laughs> so we're back to, back to plan A, which is I'm recording this for you today. I'm uploading it today because tomorrow I will be out for lunch with my sister. We're going to Sal's Pizza this time for a slice of Greek pizza. Maybe we'll do a slice and a salad, but I don't think we're going to need a salad because I think I've told you guys before, here before, but it might work. And we say, it was pizza like this. They're huge, big slices. One slice is all you need, and that's a whole meal. So we'll probably just not do a salad. Depends on how hungry these girls are because it's going to be at 11 o'clock, basically, so it might be brunch, it might be an early lunch, so possibly a salad will be involved. 
but definitely a large slice of Greek pizza or whatever she wants. She may just get a salad. And then sit there watching me, watching me make a slob out of myself. It's a good thing I wear mostly black because if I do spill anything, it won't show. <laughs> anyway, back to the tea. Again, yes, this is a nice tea. Hibiscus teas sometimes tend to be too much, like I said, like a red zinger, too tart and too red and too just extra. But this is pleasant because it's mixed with the dragon fruit. So they blend together nicely and balance each other out. And the Assam tea is nice. I've had some Assam teas on here before. I don't always remember what they are because as most people do once we upload videos, it's like we upload part of our brain to the computer and to the internet and we totally forget what we were talking about. <laughs> so there's that. But yes, it's uh, that helps to the Assam, the combination of the Assam tea and the hibiscus with the dragon fruit. It's, it's a more mellow tea because of the flavors blending together. It's not in your face hibiscus. It's not in your face tea or in your face dragon fruit. It's Okay, it's, nice. it's a nice, mellow, relaxing, yet tropical blend of tea. And I'm going to stop talking before I start sounding more crazy. Anyway, as always, this is a hit. Um, again, check out Madame Camilla Sinensis at teapunkteas.com. And also check out Matter, not Matter Hatter, yes, Matter Hatter Tea Review, yes. He hasn't tried these yet, but he has some good teas and some good tea reviews, so check check his channel out. What I was going to say was Madame Askew and the Grand Arbiter and the Temporal Entourage. Find them on Facebook and Instagram. And I believe they both have separate accounts. I don't remember what the Grand Arbiter's is at this particular time. He also streams games, which is probably very interesting. I haven't checked that out yet, so go check out the lovely steampunk folks at T-Punk Tees, Madame Askew and the Grand Arbiter, Temporal Entourage, and whatever channel it is that the Grand Arbiter has, because like I said, I forget it slips my mind at this time. And also, um, Victorian Trading Company is another good one if you like Victorian steampunk teas. I need to delve back into them as well. There's so many teas to try, and my brain just explodes with all the possibilities. I haven't gone back and visited a few old friends as far as teas are concerned because I've been delving into new ones all the time, it seems. So anyway, again, yes. Do I like it? Yes. It's, again, Hubert's Hughes, Pink Dragon, Tropical Assam Tea. And I'm assuming Hubert's Hughes, I don't know if he has a Facebook or anything because he's, not listed on the tea tin, there are no links. So if you are interested in finding out who this person, lovely, this person is, this lovely, gentle person, I won't assume gender, um, go, Google them, let me know too. Maybe we can all have fun finding out what this is. Um, and also Hobby Quest Games. So there are, if you want a quest, Hobby Quest Games, Hubert Hughes, Madame Eskew and the Grand Arbiter, Temporal Entourage, Victoria Trading Company, Victorian Trading Company. Okay, again, I will let you guys go. Um, if it's warmer where you're at, go ahead and venture out, but be careful. It's still slippery in a lot of areas and really, really, really cold. I believe it's still below zero here. Vampires need to leave their winkle prickers at home because you're going to slip and land on your butt if it's cold. Put on some, put on your heavy duty boots, maybe your Doc Martens or something with lots of tread. And again, as always, don't drag and drive. Drag responsibly if the other monsters drive the hearse, but give them a turn too because drag, designated drag healers like to have a drink every once, once in a while as well. But since it's cold outside, maybe you might just want to stay home and have a nice hot cup of tea instead. Remember, as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell twice if you want notifications, once if you want to subscribe, and keep the comments friendly. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye now.